Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Stearns Dooley, one of your Eye Voices on Eye Village, and today I wanted to talk to you about something that I didn't even know was a thing <laughs> until it happened to me. Postpartum depression and anxiety stinks. I know because I've had it myself. So postpartum depression, yes, that's obviously something that I've had to deal with for um, since I've had a little boy. <laughs> three years now and I'm I guess you could say in recovery for it if you know me and maybe some of you do through I village um, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky person I have two beautiful sons I have a husband that I love I have a bunch of friends and a lot of support I mean I have everything going for me great house great husband great unbelievably great child pretty good dog I had everything going for me but I couldn't figure out why am I so depressed after the birth of my first child, my son, I was hysterical. Well, my son was probably about three weeks old, four weeks old. I started to have these thoughts. I can remember being terrified every time we would carry him up and down the stairs that we would drop him. And I could see his head just um, popping like a, like a little melon. But I would go into my closet after I'd put him down for a nap and I would just lay there and I would just bawl my eyes out like it was the end of the world. I just would cry and shake and tremor and it was horrible. I was filled with fear that he would never love me and that um, I would always be a terrible mother. Even though I could see that the baby was safe, my, my body was reacting as if the baby had been dropped. I was panicking, my pulse was racing, my temperature was rising. It was really terrifying. I look at my little little kid now and I just want to cry at the thought of how miserable of a human being I was. I was um, just unhappy all the time. I cried my eyes out all the time. I, I didn't fit any of those, you know, any of those on the, those little things on the checklist. So I thought, oh, I don't have postpartum depression. Meanwhile, I'm like freaking out all the time. I kept thinking, it's not postpartum. There's no way this is postpartum. My kid's one. How is this continuously happening to me? About seven weeks postpartum, I started having um, these horrible thoughts that I've never had before in my life. They just kept popping into my head. You know, what if I dropped him down the stairs? What if I drowned him in the bathtub? You know, as you can imagine, those scared the crap out of me. As it turns out, I am not alone. What I suffered from is called postpartum anxiety and it's a postpartum mood disorder. I had no idea that I had something called postpartum OCD, which is an illness that's kind of related to postpartum depression, and that it was temporary and treatable with professional help. I can't even believe this exists and why didn't somebody tell me? Um, and that's why I'm telling you this story right now because I don't want any of you to feel like why didn't somebody tell me. My second son, Huck, was born just seven weeks ago and I had hoped that anxiety would pass me by this time but it didn't. If I knew then what I know now, I would have gone a lot quicker the first time and I wouldn't have missed so much of Max's first year and I'm not willing to miss Huck's if you find yourself in the closet in your bedroom, then find yourself getting help. With such large numbers, up to a million women reporting suffering each year, chances are you know somebody who suffered from it, or perhaps you yourself do. Reach out, there's help out there for you. You can reach me on the iVillage message board, and I'm there for you. You need to be your own advocate, no one will do that for you or your baby better than you can do it yourself.